On today's video, we're gonna be looking at masking in Filmora 12, but specifically the draw tool. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up everyone? Aaron here. Thanks for coming by and checking out another video. But before we get into today's video, first of all, I just want to say Happy New Year to you all. Thanks again for coming by and watching and spending your time with me here on YouTube. And today we're going to jump into the masking tool. And this is one video. I'm going to do a few others on this because there's many ways to use this new drawing tool with the masking setup here in Filmora, which really allows you to be creative and not stuck to just the presets that were there and having to manipulate those to work for your situation so that being said i'm really stoked that they finally put this in it's going to eliminate me having to go to other software uh, to do certain things i can now do it all within filmora 12. so let's jump on the computer take a look at how this is done all right now that we're on the computer we've got filmora 12 up and running as always if you don't have a copy of filmora 12 use the links in the description below to download it for mac or pc so first things we're going to do is we're going to hit new project and again this is going to be using the mass tool this is just one way of using it there's many different ways of using it but this is just one way to have some text show up so what we're going to do is we're going to import by clicking on the folder selecting the clip we want to use and bring it into our timeline. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to titles and we're gonna pick a title. I'm gonna use this one here and just bring that down into the timeline and then go back to my media and bring down another copy, making sure it lines up. And then I'm just gonna put a click on the uh, hide the track and then bring this playhead forward to where I want to start seeing the car come through. And I'm gonna just leave this as text and I'm gonna start with the mask. So now that we have this in place, you can make this whatever you want it to be on the bottom track. We're going to now work on track three. So we're going to lock that into place, lock the bottom track into place. We're going to show the third track and then we're going to double click on it to open up this uh, window here and we're going to go to mask. We're going to select the mask draw and then we're going to click this little button here, which is going to highlight all these and make sure if it doesn't have path that doesn't highlight, make sure you click on that also. So it comes up. Uh, I might I have to do this first. So what we're gonna do is start drawing our mask around the car. And if it's not precise, don't worry about it. This is just for demonstration purposes only. If you are doing this for your project, make sure you get it as close to Ken as far as where the mask should be. We're gonna bring it right around and back up. Now, once your mask is completed, you'll be able to then click on the path. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna extend our timeline here. We're gonna move the playhead forward a little bit click back on here, then move the whole mask forward and see it made a little keyframe down here for us. We're gonna move it forward a little bit more, mask forward again, some more, the playhead a little bit forward, the mask, and then we should be done. So this is what it's gonna look like on the front end. And then we could always have it disappear by doing the process in reverse with this car to make the text disappear but I wanna keep these videos a little bit shorter. Uh, that way there you guys can consume a little bit more and get right into the editing aspect of it. So if I wanted to use that, I would then, let's say that you start to see the car come in there and I would just wanna make that disappear. I'm gonna unlock it and I'm just gonna shrink this down so it fits. So it just will pop off the screen. Again, there's other ways of making it happen, but uh, that's just for time purposes. So like I said, it's really easy. Most of your masking is going to be done this way where you're going to use two of the same tracks, whether you are removing a background or putting somebody, you know, standing here, or maybe you want to mask this person out. You can do all that using the mass drawing tool. But again, this is just really a, a way to show you how to start using the mass tool to do cool effects like that and do it relatively fast. And what's nice about having the draw tool is now we're not locked into these presets that were there before. We can, we can make it any shape, size, or curvature that we want. So that's how you use the masking tool. That was just a real quick example. I'm gonna be doing more examples in the future. I just kinda of wanted you to understand the simplicity of this and how well it works. And then again, you can stretch your timeline out. You can move these keyframes around. Whatever you need to do, you can really get into precise. So like, okay, so now that I'm, I'm slowing this down and looking at it, see how it's really, there's like a hard cut right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the blur strength and I'm gonna start blurring that in a little bit. So when you see it now, 
it's a little bit more blurry. It adds a better effect as opposed to having that hard line there. And again, this is just for demonstration purposes. Hopefully you can start to understand and see how powerful the draw tool is when using masks. So let's jump off the computer. All right, so as you can see, this is still something fairly easy to do in Filmora 12. There are a few more steps. We're working with layers now. We're, we're using the masking tool, but there's a lot that can be done with this, whether it's taking something out of a photo or adding something to it or removing a background. There's a bunch of different applications. So let me know down below how you're going to use this in your next video. And uh, like I said, we're going to get into some other masking videos to really see how this tool can be utilized and how far we can push it. So thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Peace.